joins us at the Venerable Superdome in downtown New Orleans. This is what it looked like just a moment ago in the heart of New Orleans. Folks, there's no place for this noise to go in the Superdome. It is loud, and these fans are ready for football as their Saints get ready to do battle with the Atlanta Falcons. Atlanta regains possession of the football. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Limited running room as he'll get about three to the 21. A big part of a middle linebacker's job is being able to take on blocks and then go make plays. But the best ones, they have those big guys in front of them playing defensive line. They'll hold blockers off of them and allow them to flow sideline to sideline and make the big hits. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. From the shotgun, it's Mariota. Pass complete to Bird out right here. That catch good for five. It's third down. Oh, I see you nodding your head along with me, partner, because it's pretty obvious what they were trying to do there on the drag route. With his speed, they're hoping he can turn the corner and maybe take this to the house. But that was excellent work defensively to make sure once he caught it, he wasn't going anywhere. Mariota on third and two. And yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. You got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. Here's Bradley Pinion now. Marquez Callaway deep for New Orleans. Oh, good move. So a change of possession here on the punt. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. New Orleans offense back out and ready to go. Winston and the Saints now with a first and 10 at the 31 yard line. Jameis to throw it. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. Seven yards, the pick up there. Second down and three. The first carry now, this is Alvin Kamara. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. On play action, Winston. Open man is the tight end, Troutman. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. On second down, Kamara. And here he'll be brought down a little shy of the 35 at the 36. Well, there's plenty of real estate for him to maneuver on that run, and let's face it, it shouldn't be a surprise. He's one of the better backs in the league. Had to come into this game with the idea, slow him down, otherwise it's going to be a long afternoon. So after the run by Kamara, now another first and 10. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. 
Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Winston to give. It's Kamara. And he's going to have just a couple here with a marker on the field as well. That one whistled against a big right tackle. You think being able to fire out and block would be a lot easier to not commit a holding penalty, but it's tough to keep those guys right in front, isn't it? Temporarily out of field goal range now as they come up on a second and long after the holding call. Here's Winston. On the check down, he finds Camara. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. They'll give him four yards there. And they'll be facing a third and 12. To throw, Winston. Back to Kamara for another catch. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 20-yard line. I'm not sure that this play was designed for him specifically, but they got through the progressions and got the ball to him. So second catch on the drive. He may not be a primary guy, but they definitely want him involved, don't they? Uh, absolutely. This early, the opening drive, as you said, two catches. So if they can get him going to the passing game, that should open up his running game, too. Well, look at this, a tight end carry. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. Coming left is Kamara. Looking for a cutback lane, but nothing there as he's met at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. They'll get this out to Kamara. And he'll only get this to the 17, well shy of what he needed. That's going to bring up fourth down, only a gain of two there. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. And Lutz puts this one through. And the Saints are going to take a 3-0 lead. So the opening drive does yield points, maybe not the seven they wanted, but they'll take the three. Accumulating first downs does not go up on the scoreboard, but it does go into the DNA of a team that's trying to establish itself to start a game. That has to feel pretty good for them. They'll take the three. Yeah, they had three first downs and three points. Following the main field goal, Lutz to kick it away. Now it's Patterson. And no chance to get away as they get him down at about the 17-yard line. So for the second time in this one, we get set to see the Falcons' offense. And the first drive, three and out. Second possession, see if they can get a little momentum. And oftentimes that first drive is just a feeling out process. You have some plays that you've got called and you want to see how defense reacts. It may not go terrific on the first one. Now they're ready to go. They've kind of got a look at them, got a sense. Let's see if they open things up a little bit. Let's see if they open things up. Let's see what the defense does here, too, after a good stop. Now that's a gain of six on the first down run. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain.
six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. From the gun, Mariota. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Here's Patterson. Yeah, and he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Three-nothing after one on EA Sports. Second quarter now, Falcon football. As they are looking at a second down and six coming up. To throw is Mariota. Steps away to his left. Mariota so nimble, sliding to the ground with a first down. And we have to give credit to him for buying time and extending the play. But you know there's some really upset defenders on that one. They thought that they had him. Instead, he was coated in Teflon and got away. A pair of first downs gives him a first and 10 up at the 44. Patterson on the draw play. And he'll take this one up close to about the 45. Demario Davis there on the stop. But not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Marked that down for a win in the defense's column. On second down now, it's Patterson. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. Some of these play calls, I think they're a little conservative, but you know me because it's easy to sit up in this booth, right, and make all the calls and, and think I'm going to be correct. But I would like to see them open things up because otherwise this defense is going to gang up on the run and set them down. On third down, Mariota. And he's taken down here by the Saints. They overload him that time with a safety blitz, and he winds up being dropped for a loss of seven. How about that? One of the so-called little guys putting the pressure on. That was a strong safety. When I was in college, we often called that a lightning blitz. Here's Bradley Pinion now as he's on to punt for Atlanta. Thirty-seven yards on the punt with no return. New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking. And, I and the pressure gets there, and Winston goes down. The sack recorded, it's a loss of five, and now it's second down. I think a lot of time when we see a sack, you say, well, you blame it on the offensive line, the quarterback, but here, maybe you just tip your hat to the defender. What a play. Yeah, and I think sometimes they just get a sense of the play before the ball's even snapped. Kind of like a sprinter anticipating the gun in a race. They're off, and guess what? The quarterback's down. Three yards on the gain. They're going to need to do better on this next play. It'll be third and 12. I do know from experience that when you slow down someone's running game, you're now doing the dictating on defense. And guess what? Now you're getting ready to tee off on their quarterback because they have to throw it all the time. But you still have to be alert for the draws and other plays of that nature to make sure you don't get hurt. He's going to sling this deep downfield. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle, going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. So holding there on the return, and that'll back him up to start the next drive. 
Yeah, that's a pretty easy call right there, partner. I think when the officials look in their manual and see the expression, jersey getting pulled, that's a flag coming out every time. A first down throw for Mariota. Looking left side, and it's complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Well, this is an awfully tough route to defend in man coverage because he lines up on the right and then runs a crossing route back to the other side of the field. So as a defender, you're not only trailing him the whole way, you're also looking out for your own guys to make sure you don't get yourself picked off. And then you can't catch up in time to prevent the completion. And he'll fight his way forward to about the 48-yard line. Taken down by Pete Werner. You know, it's not just all athleticism from defensive linemen. Let's give them a little credit for their football intelligence as well. Read and react by them, understood the play call, and stacked it up and stuffed the run. On second and nine, Mariota flushed to his right. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. Now how about that play? He took a possible negative and turned it into positive yardage and slid down to avoid taking a big shot. Excellent job getting down and avoiding the big hit. Mariota from the gun on third down. Throw caught here by Bird. And he is going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And Brandon, from our time in college football, where receivers weren't running the traditional NFL route tree, one thing they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. And I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. Mariota's throw into the hands of Pitts here. Seven yards, the pick up there. And he's the epitome of what we call the move tight end. A guy that you can line up anywhere, in the slot, out wide, in tight. Doesn't really matter because he has such great skills, you want to utilize him in all aspects of your passing offense. And there he was in the slot for the catch. To throw again on second down, Mariota. Dancing to his left. And he will pick up the first down as he is out of bounds. And on that, we will reach the two-minute warning. Mariota now to throw on first down. He's got his pass catching tight end. That's Pitts. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. That was play number seven on this drive, and it got him seven yards. If you run an out route, it's likely you end up near the sideline. And what did we just see there? The toe tap. You got it. The benefits of practice. Toe tapping, foot dragging, picking it up, and making sure it was a catch. Mariota's throw caught by Bird here. And the Falcons are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight-yard line. Slant route's effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Escaping the pressure right. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Marcus Mariota, an eight-yard touchdown run. And the Falcons have taken the lead. Well, I'd have to say that for him, that was an all-encompassing drive because it was his arm that got his team down to that point, but his legs that finished the deal. Give him credit for making it happen. Two able to connect on the extra point, and that makes it a 7-3 lead.
Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. Callaway, the return man. And he won't get this to the 20-yard line as he's down at the 19. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And looking at this situation, Charles, you got more than a minute. You've got all three timeouts. Probably no need to play this safe. So what you're saying is that we're doing a little bit of a mind meld here, aren't we? Because I'm thinking along the same lines as you. This amount of time, don't be compelled to play it too safe. This is a chance to get points on the board. Press it a little bit. Yeah, especially since a touchdown here gets you the lead. Try to lay one up deep. He's got a man complete. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. A big connection on that one. 35 yards. As we've seen over the years, offense coordinators will often ease their way into drives. Many of them don't want to risk a turnover and put their defense in a bad spot. But not in this case. Not at all. Forget about easing into it. They took a shot. It worked. Jameis now on first down. Going deep here for Landry. Touchdown! It's complete. Jarvis Landry, 46 yards. And the Saints on just two plays have taken the lead. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions, and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. That was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. This taken in at the goal line. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Now the Falcons offense, they get ready to head back out here. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Throw left side complete to Bird. That catch good for only a couple. Looking to throw again on second down. Mariota, he's going to float this one deep right side. A fight for it, and this is caught. It's caught indeed. Let's go, let's go, let's now go. the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Working out of the gun, Mariota. Looking left side, he's got it complete. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. Throw again, Mariota. Letting one go deep for the end zone. And this is caught for a Falcon touchdown. A great effort there. There to make the grab. And the Falcons have retaken the lead. 
CD for them. This has just been a... And I believe they buzz down. They're going to take another look at this play with all reviews coming from the replay official here in the final two minutes of the half. So they called it a touchdown originally, and this will stay a touchdown after the video review. So they had it right. Now Young Way Koo for the extra point. And that makes it Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. Callaway, the return man. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. The Saints offense going to head out now late in this first half. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get into field goal range. 35 seconds, all that remains in the first half as they come up on first down. Winston. And his throw is incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Here's second and ten. To throw is Winston. They'll set up the screen now to Kamara. And some room to maneuver. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. Touchdown, New Orleans. Alvin Kamara as the first half is winding down. And the Saints have retaken the lead. They erased that deficit pretty quickly, did they not? A two-play drive. And what do we call that? Short-lived? Very. <laughs> Very short-lived. Two plays later, they're in the end zone and back out in front. We always talk about drives, don't we? Does two plays count as a drive? Not really, but that second play was so good. I don't care what we call it. It was enjoyable to watch. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Now it's Patterson. And able to get this out to the 25. And the Falcons going to get one more drive here in this first half as they'll take over with just 13 seconds to go before the break. going to run it here up the middle and he worked this back to right around the line of scrimmage and surrender there no gain on the play it'll be second down so we've hit halftime just a field goal separating these two teams at the break 
As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. Set now to go for the third quarter. The Saints have the lead and set to receive the kick. Callaway, the return man. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. Out come the Saints now. They'll go on offense first here to begin the third quarter. Hey, Charles, they've got the lead. Put your coaching hat on here now. What's the game plan for the second half? I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it, but I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities, and I will guarantee you that those guys were lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets them to second and four. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. The last run got six, now second and four. Again, it's Camara. They'll only get a couple up to about the 30. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. Winston on third and two. And that is incomplete. Yeah, that's a nice job there defensively to blank of those receivers on third down. And as a quarterback, all you can do is just lop one toward the bench, not too close, mind you, and live to punt the football. Here comes the Saints punter now as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. A 41-yard punt there with no return. So we get set to start this third quarter. Here's the Falcons' offense now. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, partner, you can sense them saying, okay, the first half was theirs, but now let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for the second half. Oh, able to avoid him. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secure before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Not much room here as he only gets it to about the 30 call it a gain of a yard and it's going to bring up third and five well they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half they've got to find a way to get him going he's a big part of their offense throwing is Mariota he's going to wind up and air it out and unable to connect incomplete now, give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Well, when you've got a tight end who can run, you've got to give them a shot to unlock the defense. Want to see what they can get taking the big shot downfield. That one winds up incomplete. Here's Bradley Pinion now as he's on to punt for Atlanta. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. Set to take over once again. Out comes the Saints offense. The last couple of drives have ended in punts. Maybe the crowd minds that, but you're a defensive guy. You're okay with a couple of punt drives. Listen, I'm the guy that loves a 0-0 pitch game. All right, in baseball, I can handle that going into the seventh inning. I think the crowd, though, they want to see a little bit more excitement. Let's see if someone can break something free on offense and get going. Offense at a premium the last two drives. His second catch, this one not quite as dynamic as his first, and it's second down. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. Throwing again on second down, Winston.
That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. From the shotgun, it's Winston. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he is going to have a Saints first down as they get five there on third and two. I like the fact that they didn't overcomplicate things on that call. Third and two, just run the quick little hitch, which they did. Ball's out of quarterback's hands. And yes, indeed, they pick up the first down. On first and ten, Winston. He'll get this to his tight end, Troutman. Seven yards, the pick up there. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You're getting better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And he takes this thing way down into Atlanta territory. A big-time play there for New Orleans. I think it's about time I took my eyes off of the secondary or the guys with the football. How about the offensive line on that snap? They took care of business. Absolutely, and when he can stay in the pocket like that, you're going to get big plays like we just saw. Working out of the gun, Winston. He's going to go down, sacked back at the 13-yard line. And the sack leads to roughly a loss of six, and it brings up second and goal. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, they took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, that still definitely hurts. Trying the left side with Kamara. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, New Orleans. Alvin Kamara, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Saints able to stretch that lead out further. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give him a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or put them on the ropes because it was jab, jab. Jab, and finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. After the touchdown, Lutz to kick it off. Cordero Patterson to return it, bringing it out of the end zone. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Atlanta now coming out on the field. We have seen a lot of points here in this quarter. For us up here in the booth, it's been fun to watch. The defensive coordinators probably scratching their heads. Yeah, they're going a little bit crazy right now. But let's face it, all of our friends who play fantasy, <laughs> they're enjoying the heck out of this show because most of them are creating and getting a bunch of points. Yeah, points certainly not at a premium here. And he's got his man on the out route. And he'll be out right at the 35. Timing is everything, and they work on this cut all the time. They work on all the timing patterns, and this time it paid off for them. Worked him to the center of the field, cut it to the outside, ball's delivered, gets both feet down for the completion. Mariota on first down. Flushed out right, and he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. Now, 
Patterson on the carry. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. Here's Mariota. That's Cordero Patterson hauling it in. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. If your sympathies lie with the defense, you understand how tough it is for linebackers to run with a guy like this. He's going to slip out of the backfield and then work in the middle of the field. And sometimes those defenders get preoccupied with other people moving, and he finds open space and makes a nice play. First down, Mariota. And he'll complete this one to Patterson. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And it'll make it second down. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here live in New Orleans. It's the Falcons. They'll have the football, but trailing on the scoreboard as we get set to begin the fourth. From the 16, Mariota. That's into the hands of Pitts, the tight end. And the Falcons are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle, that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try to get the ball back again. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he gets him a little bit closer. He takes it from the six inside the five to the four. And now we'll get a stoppage here. There appears to be an injured Falcon on the field. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. Second and goal from inside the five. Mariota. Hammering for the goal line. He loses the football. And this is picked up by the Saints. It's a foot race. He's at the 50. 30. 10. And he's into the end zone. A fumble return. And a Saint touchdown. The offense, they've had some sloppy moments. Sloppy there again on that one, and it could be the backbreaker. From a defensive perspective, if the offense is going to be sloppy, you've got to take advantage of that. And that's what they've done all game long. Lutz to try to add the PAT. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. Taken at the goal line. And he will make it back to the 15, and that's it. Good coverage there by the kick team. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover if they want to try and put points on the board. Line of scrimmage, the 15. It's first and 10. Now Mariota. Throw out right, taken in by Patterson. 
And he'll take this across the 25 before going out of bounds. Decent start to the drive, but let's face it, they need a lot of things to go right in a short amount of time down three scores. Yeah, they're going to run their two-minute offense here in this game, but this is for future games. Can they get better and be ready for the next time, hopefully with a chance to win? On first and ten, here's Mariota. He's going to float this one deep right side. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. To throw once more on second and ten. Mariota. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. And now offensively is third and ten. And I'm just thinking to myself, actors always say, what's my motivation before a big scene? Right now, the play caller is thinking, what have I done before that's worked well that I can go to right now? Yeah, because they were pretty successful in the first half scoring points. Haven't done anything so far here in the second half. Launches deep. A jump ball, and this is caught. A big play that time through the air. 35 yards. At this stage, there's nothing left to do but to keep firing. And if you're a play caller, you may go off your sheet and use some things maybe you hadn't planned to in this game. Maybe that was one of them there that worked. A first down throw for Mariota. And the Saints pressure gets him. Brought down for a sack. Cameron Jordan able to run him down for a loss of 12 that time. I know there'll be a little bit of criticism there because they went right back to the air after the huge pickup and ended up getting sacked. That's often a play that you make. You feel like you've got momentum on your side. Unfortunately, the old line failed to hold up to try to keep that momentum going. Throwing on second and long. Mariota gets this to Folkser, the tight end. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. The Falcons on third down. Two for five to this point. This will be third and forever. And oh, that's going to wind up incomplete. Nearly their first pick of the game, but it does bring up fourth down. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. Desperation time. Mariota on fourth down. Flush to his right. And that is incomplete, but there is a flag. And on fourth down, this is a big call. So he was past the line of scrimmage when he threw it. And as they say, that's a no-no. Got to be able to understand where you are on the field and not cross the line before throwing the ball downfield. On the give, this is their fullback. And he'll get this into enemy territory, but not by much as he's down to the 48. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Normally when you see a short gain in the middle of a 3-4 defense, go ahead and pat the nose tackle on the back because he's holding things up and taking out extra blockers, which allows one of the inside linebackers to roam free and make the tackle. From the gun, it's a run for Kamara. They follow up the first down one-yard run with a minimal gain of two. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. The Saints on third down. They've hit it 50%, three of six to this point. This will be third and six. Jameis to throw it. 
And that is incomplete. First quarter, Charles, you really emphasized the importance of winning the turnover battle as a visiting team, as an underdog. They haven't forced a single turnover in this game. And right now they're losing, so no turnovers might lead to no victory. Here comes the Saints punter now as he's on to kick it away. And this will be up to the ruling of the side judge here. He says it crossed out of bounds at the 16-yard line. So out come the Falcons now. And they've got to be still reeling from the events of a moment ago. What a turn on that last play. You're knocking on the door. You're about to take it in. You think you're going to get some points on the board. Instead, you cough it up and watch them take it the rest of the way to the opposite end zone. That's a two-score swing that you just gave up. Mariota now to throw on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Kyle Pitts, the intended receiver. And that will bring up second down. By the way, i got to apologize because I just realized for about the last four or five plays, I'm eking over into your territory up here in the booth. My bad. I'm going to get back over to my spot. Yeah, we're not talking about our on-air commentary. I mean, what is all this extra paper? I mean, this is unusual for you. My bad. Normally, you run a really tight ship. What's going on here? Just like that incomplete pass, I'm going to try to tighten things up here for this next play. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. They're giving those short little routes. Tackled him in bounds, too. They're just not wanting to get beat over the top. Yeah, and if you can't really get downfield, take the short routes. But now you've got to have guys who can actually break tackles and increase those gains. From the shotgun, it's Mariota. And this will be caught by Edwards. And he is going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. All right, let's just go ahead and walk through this one pretty easily, right? Blast off the line of scrimmage, get downfield to a certain point, usually around 8 to 10 yards. Turn around and make sure the quarterback sees your numbers and set yourself up for the pass. A well-executed curl route by Charles Davis. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Boy, that one was well-read defensively, and this is all about diagnosis as a safety and being decisive because he saw it setting up in front of him, able to knife through there and make the play. Again, it's Mariota. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. He'll wind up getting four there on his own, but it will leave him now with a third down situation. Okay, he's not going to get the first down, but this is still a nice job of buying some time and then running to get to the sideline and get out of bounds and avoid the big hit. Mariota on third and two. Open man there is Patterson complete. And he is going to have a Falcons first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I'm not sure that that was necessarily a safety valve or a check down throw on third down. Sometimes just try and find the open guy and get him the ball. He did exactly that and found a way to pick up a first down. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. To throw is Mariota. He's going to look deep down the field. And this is incomplete. Oh, he had six points right in his hands but could not hang on. I guess at this point, Charles, heck, why not take some shots? I would agree with that totally because a big play can't hurt at all. Heck, you might get a pass interference call out of it. Somehow the ball might get tipped up and you come down with it. Might not do too much for the result of the game, but it could add to your stats. On second and ten, Mariota. And it's going to be caught by Pitts. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. A big connection on that one. 36 yards. Uh, defensively, I know they have the comfortable lead here in the fourth, but they do not want to give up big plays like that. They want to finish strong. So oftentimes in this situation, you tighten up underneath in your coverage and you bring your safeties back. They can pick up anything that leaks through. But in the meantime, upfield, you're making plays on the football. 
Seven yards to pick up there. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. From the six now on second and three. Now Mariota. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I think this is what this game's become now. Just go deep, see if we can get something to go our way. Yeah, not the most creative or most inventive play call there, but not much has worked for them throughout this game. They're almost at a loss about what to dial up. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. To the air again, Mariota. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Marshawn Latimer. And the Saints are going to take over at their own 13-yard line. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. They start the drive on the ground, Kamara. And he works it across the 25 before being tackled. So this will be a victory here for New Orleans. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last points of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out.